afternoon and welcome back for another Tall Ship Tuesday. My name's Jesse. I'm one of the historical interpreters and fashion historians here on Tall Ship Providence. And today, in honor of Women's History Month, I'd love to introduce you to an interesting little aspect of sailing history that played a lot with gender roles in what was considered traditionally women's work. Today, I would like to introduce you to something called the housewife or a hasef. It was an 18th century sewing kit that was gifted to men, traditionally sailors, soldiers, and merchants, that while it obviously does not look like what our traditional image of a housewife is, it replaced all of the necessities a uh, traveling soldier might have had for what he may have had at home by his mother, his sister, or his wife, his housewife. 18th century naming devices were very creative. <laughs> the housewife was basically a kind of patchwork uh, sewing kit made by his mother, his sister, a sweetheart, maybe even his wife if he was married. It had, was made out of various types of material, whatever was basically around, scraps of linen, twill tape, wool, things of that sort, and basically had small pockets for holding things like thread and uh, needle pouches and pouches for things like scissors and other small sewing tools. Basically, it was a smaller condensed version of a traditional 18th century sewing kit that a man could basically roll up or fold up, throw in his sea bag or in his uh, kit and leave home. They were embroidered with little notes or initials, little mementos of home for him um, so that while he was traveling, while he was out at sea, sometimes for days, weeks, months, even years if you were going out to war, um, he had a small kit for basically doing all of the traditional women's work that would have been done at home by his mother, sister, or wife and could be done while on board the ship. You had free time on board the ship where you could sit there and mend your socks, repair patches and holes. Even in this kit, I even have some small pieces used for sailing repair, like a sail, like sail needles. Um, things that would have been done traditionally by the woman had to be done by the men because you didn't. These were often spaces where you didn't have a lot of women around to hold on to uphold those traditional gender roles. We see this in the same way that we have the men doing the cooking and the cleaning on board the ship when you often didn't have, have nearly as many women in this field for the 18th century as you did, you know, at home or on land. This actually would be a standard for the military all the way through the 1940s when it was actually turned from something that was gifted by family to something that was part of standard issue for the English and American military. Thank you all for joining the Tall Ship Providence Foundation on this Tall Ship Tuesday. If you like this video, please hit the button and consider subscribing to the channel where we put out new educational videos each week about maritime history, seamanship, tall ships, and even the occasional sea shanty. Until next time, we hope to see you next week on another Tall Ship Tuesday.